So my speech today is on contributing to open source. And I'm going to talk about that, but I kind of tricked you all, because this is a reveal talk, actually. More on that later. My name is Jimmy Rosian. Uh, around 10 years ago, I founded a company called Anger Creative from my dorm room. Um, Anger Creative is today, uh, like Olaf said, one of Sweden's largest uh, WordPress agencies. Um, around 25 people right now, but we're growing. And uh, we're a, a digital bureau. We, we, um, uh, we do like 70% of what we do is WooCommerce. Um, is, um, like, I think like half of the uh, topics for this contribution day and today has been about WooCommerce. How many of you guys work with WooCommerce today? Almost everyone. Yeah, it's growing real fast, and um, uh, also for us. Uh, and the the uh, the the rest is like 15% is like WordPress only, and 15% is uh, Laravel. Um, we're a, we're a full service agency, so we do everything from from hosting and maintenance and 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 the works um, and help develop our clients. This is me in my dorm room. From here, I started Anger Creative. That's my mom, by the way. Say hi. Um, and like many people ask me the question, how come the company is named Anger Creative? And that, that's a good question. Um, I mean, these days, um, having an open source business model is it's not anything strange, right? Um, but in the 90s, people, people, it, it wasn't that common. Like uh, I've always been an open source advocate. It's a, it's a really beautiful thing. But like in the 90s, people thought that I was the the crazy hippie guy that liked open source. Um, and and when I started Anger Creative from my dorm, I decided that. I'm going to name the company something that uh, always will show me uh, the ethos of the company, like what I went into, uh, what, what values I went into uh, this business with, and that's open source values. Um, and uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Matt Mullenweg wrote a blog post. Uh, he named it Five for the Future where he talked about how companies working with open source, uh, how much time they should actually spend help, uh, helping uh, with the project. And that is around 5%. And that is what we do. Around 5% of all the time we spend, uh, we spend that like helping the WordPress community. Um, and I'm gonna, first, I'm going to show you a couple of projects that we've done. One really popular project is uh, a Glue plugin, between uh, a plugin named Advanced Custom Fields. Anyone work with that? Hands up. Yeah, almost everyone. Yeah, it's a popular plugin. And another plugin called Yoast SEO. And uh, I think it got like, yeah, at least. Uh, maybe 50,000 downloads, uh, I guess. But but um, it helps uh, to to if you install this, you can actually you can do like a implementation of ACF, and then you can see how it scores uh, on the uh, SEO values. Uh, we did this with Yoast SEO and with a guy named uh, Thomas Kreftner. Another popular project is we have Bjorn here. Yeah, uh, uh, one of our uh, buddies from Norway, uh, Bjorn Johansen. Um, he made one of the most popular uh, laser load plugins out there. Um, but, uh, well, Bjorn helps out a lot in the community, but he just didn't have time. So, so we, we said that we would take this on uh, and, and maintain the, the project with him. And so we've, we've done so as well. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's uh, at least uh, 50 or 60,000 uh, active installs at any given time. Um, 
we do a project called uh, Facebook Open Graph Scraper. Uh, that is like when you, um, many of you guys have, have probably like, you, you, you write a text, right, uh, with your, um, on, on with WordPress, it's a blog post or a page, whatever, and, and then you, you, then you, um, then you push it on social media and like, damn it, I should have uh, changed this picture or, or whatever. And then Facebook has cached it and you need to like uh, clear the cache. So this one does it automatically for you. So you don't have that headache. Pretty, pretty sweet and, and the clients are happy for it. Another plugin is ACF Page, page Builder Field. That's another glue plugin between uh, ACF and a plugin called Site Origin uh, uh, Page Builder. Anyone use it? Yeah, a few. Yeah, a few people. Yeah, cool. Um, we use it a lot, um, actually. Another plugin is Custom Cookie Message, uh, and that's uh, it's a basically a cookie warning plugin. Um, we're working on making it like 100% GDPR and uh, cookie law compatible. You know, so you can like opt out uh, from uh, uh, certain cookie and keep certain cookies. And one of the more important projects is the Waldner ping pong ladder, so that uh, the staff can uh, uh, can know who's winning in ping pong. Very important app for us. We also support a couple of other projects. Uh, we support Fontawesome. How many have used Fontawesome in their projects? Everyone, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, and also a, a, um, a plugin called Version Press by a guy named Borek Bernard. Um, it gives the ability to uh, version control database changes. It's really an awesome plugin. You should check it out. Um, they need a lot of help with development. And one thing that we do, at least once a year, is that we gather. This is from a from a contribution day, but we gather the staff and we help out with uh, WordPress core and or and or uh, WooCommerce core. Um, and why we do do we do all this? I mean, it's not just from the goodness of our hearts, honestly. Uh, it's it's basically it's it's the right business choice for Angry Creative. Um, for our developers, we, we, we ensure that our developers are really, really good at WooCommerce and WordPress and, and kind of gets it. Um, and doing core pushes people beyond their, their, uh, their comfort zone and beyond their limits. So it's really important for us uh, and our developers that they learn this stuff because that makes them better. And when working with clients, that really helps. Um, and for our clients, yeah, obviously they'll get better developers, but um, it's also we can explain to our clients that, okay, so um, we're going to do this and we're going to open source it. And clients happily pay for it. Why is that? It's because we can make them understand that. Um, Instead of it, it will actually cost them more money to to um, not to do it because if you have like a community of people helping out, finding bugs, correcting bugs, um, building new features, that will actually cost them less money than um, than not doing it. And uh, and uh, sure, you have to make like nice plugins and preferably with uh, with uh, unit tests and whatnot, but. But I mean, the, the clients. We, like I said, we work mostly with uh, WooCommerce, and that means that we we uh, we do a lot of tests because if we break their stuff, they're not that happy with us, as you can imagine. So um, so we have to do it anyway. So so um, this is uh, this is a good way for our clients to actually save money. Um, so it's a it's a win-win. The community wins and the client wins. Um, and there, you might have thought that I was through talking about me and our cool projects. But wait, there's more. Um, we're constantly trying to push uh, things for the better in the community. Uh, we help with, uh, like I said, we we uh, we do projects. We help with these uh, these kinds of things, work camps and whatnot. 
And I'm going to do a reveal here today of, of, uh, of two projects that I think you'll like. The first project uh, is solving a problem that we've seen. Uh, one of our uh, developers named Richard Sweeney has um, uh, made a solution so that uh, we work a lot with Composer. Anyone uses Composer in their development process? Yeah, OK. Yeah, like one third. All right, cool. Um, handling languages is, is a pain with Composer. So we've, uh, we've kind of solved it. We made a first, first, first solution. Uh, it's, a, it's a plugin, you could call it. And, and, um, and that kind of solves the whole issue with, uh, uh, with it. It's the first version. It doesn't solve all use cases. But today, we're open sourcing it. And we'd like to invite all of you to, to help out. Just download it and you know, find bugs, report them, and, and um, uh, help us out to, to make it even better. Um, take note of this, this GitHub address. Um, it's on. You can find it. Just go to github.com slash angrycreative, and it's it's on there. But take a picture of this uh, URL, um, and uh, I'm gonna give you two minutes for that. Mmm, delicious. Yeah. Come on. I, I see. I don't see enough phones. Come on, guys. Yeah. Maybe not, this is not for everyone, maybe. But the next project we're going to reveal here today is a lot more fun. And that's a project for everyone. And it's a project that we've been working on for the, the last two years. Uh, and it's called WordPress the Card Game. Yes. Uh, we've, um, we worked closely with, uh, with a game designer called Rustan Hawkinson. Uh, he made. Any, is anyone on Board Game Geek here? Yeah, a couple of you. Yeah, he made uh, Nations and uh, actually Drupal, the card game as well. Um, so, so, um, and we worked with uh, the WordPress Foundation. Uh, so they're they're backing this. And um, today we're launching a Kickstarter, so that you guys can can help out make this a reality. And also, for, for the companies out there, you, there are sponsoring opportunities to get in the game. I'm going to show you a, a quick little video. Uh, we've hired some uh, really talented actors. Uh, like, probably, yeah, it's probably the best actors I've ever seen, like Trump would have said. Um, let's play, the, play it. Did I do something wrong now? Is it one more click? OK, we'll try it out. You have dedicated. You can use this uh, link here. It's not, they haven't approved yet, but you can go in there, use this URL, you can go in there, and you can subscribe. So when it goes, uh, when it's approved and goes live, uh, it's just, uh, you will get an email, and you can, uh, you can get your own copy of it. And this game is really, uh, what we want to do is teach open source values. Uh, it's, it's a who's who in the Nordic community. I know some of you guys know you're in, in, in this game. Um, but during the Kickstarter, we will also um, select a few other people that do a massive job in the community. 
um, and really deserves recognition. And in the game, there were a little bit, there basically um, what you do is that you start out as a, um, a bureau, and you hire uh, developers, and you finish contracts. And the one that uh, can help out in the community uh, the most, the fastest, wins. So pretty simple game mechanics. But um, uh, like I said, what we want to do is teach um, that uh, you can actually run a bureau. You don't, you don't have to be like the size of, uh, of uh, you know, you don't have to be 20 plus people. You don't have to be the size of us or size of human made or whatever. Anyone can do a contribution, big or small, and still make money. It's just that, you know, the 5%, uh, it's, it's really important because if we don't do the 5%, we'll, we won't be able to push WordPress and WooCommerce that most of us use as a product. We won't get that knowledge about the product, and it will be bad for everyone. So, so if everyone just helps out a little bit, we can do great things together. Thank you. That was, uh, that was my talk. Uh, and I'm now opening up for questions. Here's the main performer as well. So, uh, what can I say? It's hard to ask questions after such a stunning performance. <laughs> um, well, I think maybe we have a question in the audience, right? Yeah, no? Yeah, we have one up here. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, so this is not really a question, but I shared the, the URL to the GitHub for the composer thing internally on our Slack. And we're pretty excited about it right now. And uh, our developers are as, uh, using words that it's maybe not appro appropriate here, but uh, beautiful is one of them. <laughs> okay, but they're good words, right? Yes, very yes. good, very good. Thank good you. Norwegian words. Yes. That's awesome, awesome. Yeah, uh, we have any more questions? Yeah, we have one next to, right below the first question. WordPress builds a very large ecosystem and delivers some very big software projects through open source as a community as a whole. Um, some of the changes that are coming through in WordPress at the moment are fairly significant and they've got potential to deliver a lot of value. But they're also asking a lot of the people who are making open source contributions. Can you see any possible ways that open source could be managed differently so that some of the things which at the moment are a bit controversial and proving very difficult can be better managed and WordPress continues to be a sustainable open source project? Well, that's a big question. Um, I don't know, I think that, like, I mean, hmm, the best things and the worst things of open source is like the freedoms that you get, um, but, but one thing is like um, a lot. Of, there are a lot of companies that not. That's not. I mean, we put actual money into the hands of of uh, open source projects. So we we don't just. Yeah, we sure we build stuff, and we try to help out with time. It's all important. But what we also do is like we. Yeah, like I said, we 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 put actual money into people's hands, and that's also important. I think that. Um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of projects that are really good that should get more corporate backing. Um, I mean, what we do when we talk to clients is that we try, try to get, uh, uh, make the client get that this is important so that they will help out. But you know, they, they only help out like one drop at, at, at a time. Um, but, but like, it would be, um, if people's, like idea about open source change. I mean, it's free as in free speech, not free beer, right? It's the saying. Uh, and more people need to get that. I mean, uh, there are a lot of, if you go to a, a WordPress uh, um, user group, you'll see a lot of questions about, you know, it's free and that's, that's great. But um, I mean, I think that the culture of, of, um, of pushing you know, towards the bottom, like price-wise and 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 whatnot, it can it, it really helps the community because it broadens it. Like, but it also hurts the community. So, 
Um, I don't have a really good question. More than like, if I would like to see more people putting money into open source. Uh, I know that the Internet Foundation uh, that helps uh, put this together actually gives out money to open source projects. You have to just apply for it, and they have a lot of money actually to do this, but no one applies for it. Um, so, has anyone applied for uh, money from the Internet Foundation here? No one. Yeah, no. But they can. They, you you can actually like you can actually do a project and you can like work work like six months a year with money from the Internet Foundation from the from the money that uh, you get uh, or, or they get when you buy a .sc domain. And uh, that's one way. I mean, there are government money, but no one seems to know about the, these things. Um, but like, I, I don't think open source should be like managed per se, like from a top-down structure, because like the most beautiful thing in in open source is like the chaos, uh, and from that chaos, like beautiful things emerge. Like uh, there are there will be a lot of bad stuff, I guess, uh, a lot of bad code out there, but there will also be like beautiful things that emerges, um, and and. Um, Kind of the 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 market kind of shows the way, uh, I think. Okay, you got a really long question. Uh, answer there. Sorry, guys. Can't see any hands at the moment. Uh, yeah. I have one question for myself. Yes. Uh, how did you come up with the idea of making a board game? I, I guess I could have asked before, uh, but I think this is good time as well. So. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Well, it was so I could. Uh, Get you as an actor, actually. Yeah. You're okay. a very convincing uh, performance. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no, it was. Um, um, what can I say? It's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a fun way to teach, uh, um, like to teach people about like the real world, and uh, and like I said, a who's who. Um, so so I hopefully this will be a very cool like giveaway that you can give to uh, that you can you know. At the uh, Fredas Öl, we have a thing we call. Maybe you guys heard of have a similar thing at your office. Uh, this will be a thing that you pull out, uh, or you can give it to clients, uh, or you, or you can just pull it out at the office and, and play. It takes like 20 minutes, but uh, like by doing, by changing how people um, think about things, we can make like in the in a couple of years we can make a big uh, big impact on our community. Um, and I would like to see more people doing awesome open source projects and uh, and being awesome at uh, WordPress and WooCommerce. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I've got one one question up here, so yeah. it will be the final question. I think we're running a bit late, yeah. so Sorry. can I have a mic for this side, uh, the left side? And I'm gonna take this opportunity to also say that we're hiring. So, yeah. Hi, thanks for a great talk. Uh, have you gotten any money from the Internet Foundation yourselves? Uh, no, your um, we've uh, uh, we, are, we we have helped the Internet Foundation in different ways, and as such, we have um, uh, we have uh, been uh, not eligible for that money. Gotcha. But maybe in the future. How do you evaluate? Uh, I, I presume. Uh, launching an open source project, you also make a commitment, like a time commitment in the future, you have to kind of update it and like how do you evaluate which projects do you want to make open source and, and launch? All right, well, um, yeah, um, basically it's, it's, it's a matter of business interest, I, I'd say. Uh, some things are like so generic, like they need to be open source. And it's uh, it's very beneficial, but like the more specific it gets, uh, the less of a chance is that we'll open source it. Because uh, the more people that can actually use it, the better. Uh, so so I think that's um, uh, if we use it like in most of our projects, let's open source it. But if you use it for one or two projects, uh, maybe maybe it's too much of a hassle to to do it. Uh, basically. Um, and, and sometimes it's, it's perhaps not um, a good business choice for us to do it. Maybe it'll, it'll create drama, or WP drama in some cases. So then we maybe shouldn't do that. 
Well, uh, I can see you're really walking the talk, so you're a good advocate for open source. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, Jimmy, for your awesome talk. So everyone, a big applause for Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you.